Hey, what's up everybody? Fred Minnick here, and today I'm going to review the 2024 limited edition small batch from Four Roses. Now, it may look like some of this has already been hit pretty hard. That's because I had a couple of my jujitsu buddies come over to the uh, office and they drank it. So I am going to plead that it was not me. It was one of my rolling partners. Now, this is a composite of OBSV, 12 years, OESK, 15 years, OESF, 16 years, OBSV, 20 years. Now, most people who watch this channel know what most of those uh, letters mean. I've got a link in the description if you want to learn more about Four Roses and their recipes. I'll also have a link in the description for this particular release, what it's uh, costs and, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so if you want to go to that, uh, you know, go feel free to go hit that. But also, before I get into that, I do feel, or before I get into the tasting, I feel like I owe you an apology. Now, there's going, if you can skip straight to the tasting, I'll have the, the time description of when the tasting is because I'm going to go off on a little bit of a, a tangent, I guess is the word. So I haven't done an actual review on this channel in a month and a half. And I am deeply sorry. I apologize. There's a couple reasons as to why I have not been uh, actively reviewing um, whiskeys on the channel. Uh, one, I've been traveling a little bit here and there. Um, I've had some, some great times uh, across the country. I've got some more travel coming up. I'm also in the middle of writing a book. And when I'm writing a book, my head ain't right. Like, I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. Like, it, it throws everything off in my, in my normal routine. So I've normally been getting about at least four reviews in a month here on the channel. And um, I just haven't been hitting that. And I, I'm sorry about that. But I will say, if you want to see consistent normal reviews at Club Marzipan, like you're guaranteed at least two reviews there a month, sometimes more, and uh, a tasting. And if you're a part of the Founders Club Taste Camp, and that's that's where I spend most of my time on the content side. And I'm not saying the channel's going away or I'm I'm doing any reviews. Um, I'm not going to stop doing reviews or anything like that. I'm just saying like you know the Club Marzipan is a priority for me for getting my reviews over there. And I've been dropping some pretty cool reviews, kind of like this one right here, uh, this Lithgow, um, nine-year-old uh, four-grain straight Kentucky bourbon. Pretty cool story behind it, too. I scored it pretty high. So you can go check that review and others out over at Club Marzipan. You can find the link uh, in the description for Club Marzipan. So Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch, one of the great releases every single year. It's in the limited edition category. I'm very excited to taste this. And hopefully, you know, my cigar buddies didn't drink it all and actually refill it with something like Jack Daniels or something like that. But, you know, I, I can see them doing that. Oh, it smells good. All right. So this smells like toffee. Uh, it's got some uh, cinnamon there and some chocolate. Let's see. little wood so it's got some oak on there as well so not not overly oaked but definitely smell that accent of oak and bubble gum like a fresh satchel of big league chew okay here we go Ooh. Mm. I just feel that right all over my tongue. That feels wonderful on my palate. Tip of the tongue, middle of the tongue, middle toward the back, uh, all the way in the back on the sides, curls underneath my tongue. The only area of my mouth I don't feel it is the roof of my palate. Like I don't feel it on the roof of my palate. It's uh, it's kind of a no show there. So. Strike to four roses for not feeling solid on the roof of my palate. I'm kidding. Um, 
flavor wise, I'm going to taste it again, focus on where I felt the most prominently on my tongue and see if a note hits. Mmm. This is just gorgeous. Um, in a word or in a one note, if I were just picking one note for this, it would be a cinnamon roll, like a nice hot cinnamon roll with a uh, big old vanilla icing on there, layered, and that's you know real soft, doughy goodness, and those little sprinkles of cinnamon. That's just wonderful. Also, in kind of adjacent and flavors are the donut holes, like the glazed donut. It's got like this whole glazed donut thing, and it's got like an apple fritter thing. Basically, this feels like it could possibly be diabetes in a glass. Like if you have all the things that you you can imagine that you would call fat pills or something that would, you know, put a little uh, trim around the waistline and uh, maybe give you a few uh, conditions you don't want. Uh, uh, this has got some good sweet action going on there. But I'm going to lead with that cinnamon roll with a heavy vanilla icing, um, followed by like a glazed donut hole, and then uh, an apple fritter. Like all, all three of those have that like doughy goodness, so I keep going back to the doughy goodness. But then you sprinkle in the vanilla, you got the cinnamon, um, with the donut holes, there's usually like this really hard, like little crunchy piece of the donut. It's got that, like that's always a different flavor. You might even say like the Chinese donuts that you get at a, at a restaurant where they're like layered in, in uh, sugar, like powdered sugar. That little piece right there is what I'm talking about, a little, little crunchy part of a glazed donut. Uh, and then the apple fritter. So you got to say like this like little baked or fried little apple piece you know, smothered in, in the dough. So those are, those are the prominent notes that I get. I'm going to taste it again, see if there's any secondary notes that uh, are delicious. On the secondary side, I'm going to go down more of like a nuttier version. Uh, so like pecans, uh, very particular, those um, those fried pecans or not fried the, the candied pecans sometimes they're almonds sometimes they're uh, walnuts but that candied almond thing that you get at the fair uh, I usually get the pecans but that that flavor is, is specific uh, here and very flavorful on that on that secondary kind of taste um, it finishes long and and strong and this is a uh, this is without a doubt a contender for for my top 100, and I can see this doing quite well in it. But I don't I don't think that should come to a surprise to anyone. I can't think of a single year that Four Roses had a major miss with their limited edition small batch. Have there been years I didn't like uh, more so than others? Absolutely, but it's not like Weller last year uh, was a complete dud for me, and um, you know for many others as well. It just Four Roses just does not strike out with their limited edition small batch. There was maybe one one year where they were a 90-point score versus like a 94-point score. Um, and if I am scoring this, which by me saying if I am scoring it, I am technically scoring it, uh, I would score this uh, a 94 points and would say this would be an easy contender for Whiskey of the Year. Four Roses limited edition small batch is almost always delicious uh so that's going to do it for this uh for this tasting i appreciate you tuning in and uh thank you for your patience for my reviews i've been putting so much focus on this channel with the fred minnick show and you know as you can see i've spent a lot of money of uh, you know getting these interviews in a high quality fashion and I hope you like them because I really enjoy doing them, but I don't want to neglect the review side of this channel. And uh, that's why I'm going to try and take a stab at doing a couple more and scheduling them out. So, uh, but anyway, thought I'd let you know because you've been so supportive of me in the past and I felt like you were due an explanation as to why you haven't gotten any reviews. That's going to do it for this review, folks. Be safe out there. And remember, you know what?
enjoy this stuff. Just remember, it's not life and death. Cheers.